So we'll begin part two of our series on pocket base, but I did want to mention a few things about pocket base and I updated my flow chart here in the upper left. I had noticed in the first video there was some overlaying text, so I did fix that. Before we get into the digital ocean configuration section, I was just going to mention a few other things about pocket base itself. So here is the new flowchart, and as you can see, this section down here, it says need to run some commands now in the console window to get pocket base up and running in this VM or VPS. And we will get to that part in a little bit. But for now, we will talk briefly about pocket base, and then we will begin this part here where we go in and create a droplet which will create the VPS or VM, install Ubuntu, we'll choose the Doku, and that will be the end of this part of the video. So here, let's take a look at the PocketBase website, which you can see the URL here, pocketbase.io. And as they say here, open source backend for your next SaaS software as a service and mobile app in one file. We get a real-time database, authentication, file storage, and admin dashboard. And so you can see the admin dashboard here. And I had briefly showed it in my own uh, up and running dashboard here that we'll get to that in a future video. And if you like, you can click on the live demo and it will allow you to see how it works with some actual data in there. So I think that's good to do. And there's some really good documentation you may want to look at. And if we click on explore all features, we can see some more details, but I do want to also mention that this here, it's extendable use as a standalone app or as a go framework that you can extend via hooks to create your own custom portable backend provides official client SDKs for painless integration. So that's really great too. You can find that on the GitHub page. So here is the FAQ asking, do you offer hosting? No, PocketBase is self-hosted only, although I showed in my first video how you can use the Pocket hosting service. Does it scale on a single server? Vertical, yes it does. Even without optimizations, PocketBase can easily serve 10,000 plus concurrent and persistent real-time connections on a cheap $6 VPS. Does it support Google or Facebook login? Yes. Currently the following OAuth2 providers are supported. Google, Facebook, GitHub, and GitLab. And there's more on the way. Does it come with a front end for user login, registration, etc.? No, it doesn't but it does have the admin panel, which we will be looking at. And then can I use this other database? No, PocketBase uses the embedded SQLite in WAL mode. So whether that's a good thing or a bad thing for you, you are stuck with using it. But I think that's actually a good thing. It makes things more simple. And where can I find help? Well, you can look in the discussions board or open an issue in GitHub or support at pocketbase.io. So there's a good FAQ to get you started. Here is the GitHub repo. You can see PocketBase. There's 19 contributors currently. And if we scroll down just a little bit, you can see here PocketBase is a open source Go backend consisting of the embedded database SQLite with real-time subscriptions, built-in files and users management, convenient admin dashboard UI, and simple REST-ish API. API SDK clients, the easiest way to interact with the API is to use one of the official SDK clients. So there's one for JavaScript and one for Dart. So 
you do want to take a look at this GitHub repo. There's some good information here. And lastly, the introduction documentation. Lots of good stuff here to check out, depending on what you're looking for. If you like this channel, please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when I post new content.